So here I am in Newcastle, stood in one of my recent property development projects. Now, this property I bought for £162,500. I've spent £64,000 on the refurbishment, and it's now sale agreed with a completion date in the next few days going through at £332,500. So after all costs, including the refurbishment, buying and selling costs, legal fees, etc. I'm looking at a profit pre-tax of around £95,000. Return on investment around 40%. Now this deal came to me off market. So it was by an estate agent, but it wasn't listed on the open market. I had the first opportunity to try and secure this deal and I bought it under auction term. So this agent has bought me nine below market value properties so far. So I've got a good working relationship with them. And sometimes for sellers in some situations, it's not just about the amount of money they can get for their property that's important to them. It's also about the speed and the certainty of sale. So if they are looking for a quick sale, if they need that quick sale, like they did in this case, then being a trusted buyer in the eyes of your local estate agent is crucial that so you can deliver on a promise of a quick purchase. If you can do that, so you do what you say you're going to do and you can buy quickly, then that can position you in a position of strength when it comes to negotiating a good deal. So this is since the agent bought it to me before going onto market, but auction terms were important because they wanted that certainty of sale. And I was happy to buy under those terms. So why on earth did I have to spend 64,000 pounds refurbishing this property? Now it's a lot more than what I normally spend on a standard property flip. So this needed a little bit more work than the usual. So it needed a full new roof. It needed a full new central heating system, full electrical rewire, all new windows throughout, front and back door new, kitchen, bathroom, fully replastered, damp proofed, flooring, decoration, etc. And I've also added an important layout change, which has dramatically increased the appeal, the look and feel, and the saleability of this property. So that layout change is pretty simple. Where I'm stood right now is a kitchen, as you can tell, but it never used to be. So this, where I'm stood right now, used to be the dining room, and now it's an open plan kitchen dining room. So what I did to create that is essentially the kitchen, the way it was, was dinky, small, poxy, wasn't any good for the size of this property. This is a big family home, three big bedrooms, nice big bathroom upstairs, but it had a dinky, horrible little kitchen, which wasn't workable. So what I did is I brought the kitchen into this room, so making it an open plan kitchen diner. And now what was the kitchen is a utility room. So as a utility room, it's a decent size. And I've added a downstairs toilet just off that utility room as well. I've bricked up the back door. So it used to be just a back door. So bricking that up, I put the boiler where the back door is and I've added patio doors here in the kitchen dining room to bring in more natural light. Now, in order to make the kitchen as big as it is, what I had to do is put a stud wall here on this side. So a stud wall between kitchen dining room and the living room to enable me to run units all the way across down here. And then this wall behind me used to have, with it being a dining room, used to have a big chimney breast sticking out from the wall. So I took that out. So a bit of structural work there involved in taking that chimney breast out in order to then have kitchen units running all the way across this back wall. So compared to what it used to be, the kitchen's pretty much double the size. So for this big, spacious family home, I've created a nice big kitchen dining room. But crucially, I've been able to do it without having to do an extension, which would have massively increased costs further. And I would have had to then ask for a lot more of the resale value, which would have been going above and beyond, by quite a long way, the ceiling prices on the street. That's not something you want to be doing when you're flipping property. You don't want to have to go away and above the ceiling price. So I was able to add a lot of value just by a layout change rather than having to do an extension. 
which would have been a lot more costly and it also would have taken a lot longer. So when you're flipping property, it's not just about how much money you make, it's about how quickly you can make it as well. Quicker you do a deal and it's sale agreed, cash in the bank, the quicker you can move that money along to the next deal and the money is working harder for you. It's about what you can make, how quickly you can make it and your return on investment. That's crucial when you're looking at flipping property. So had I left the kitchen the way it was, that would have been a big risk. So I could have had this nice, beautiful property refurbished, but people could have came in, seen a tiny little kitchen that didn't fit the size of the family home that this is. And that could have been a big problem. That could have stopped them wanting to buy. So whenever you're flipping property, what you want to ensure is when you do all your hard work, you put your time, effort, energy into transforming the property, and you don't end up at the end of all that having a problem still. So in this instance, if I'd have left the kitchen the way it was, people could have walked in, could have been a problem. Saleability could have still been affected, and that's a big problem when you're trying to do this quickly, you're selling properties quickly. You need to have people lining up to want to buy your property. So by improving the layout, I had a lot of interest. Bear in mind, when I put this property on the market, interest rates were going up, panic, according to the media, anyway, there's panic in the market, market prices or house prices going down, etc. What actually happened is I put the property on, within a couple of weeks, I had four different buyers wanting to pay above asking price, and it went to best and final offers. So it went significantly above the asking price and I had literally a bidding war over the property. So if you do a good job, if you create a nice look, feel and appeal for the property by making a quick layout change, which can significantly add value, you can massively increase your profit. And if you can do it without doing an extension, even better because that really does make a big difference. So in this instance, I've added a downstairs toilet off the utility room, which is really important in a family home. So a downstairs toilet that didn't have one before, that's a really great way to add value. And also having a big kitchen, open plan kitchen, dining room, which is what a lot of people like now, without having to extend, has made the kitchen workable. And I've got a big workable utility rather than a dinky, horrible, little, unworkable kitchen. So that's a big way or an important way of improving value. So there's loads of different ways of adding value to a property other than just upgrading the kitchen, the bathroom, etc. And you can really get creative and to add value without overspending. This project's been a whole lot of fun. I can't wait to complete on the sale, hand the keys over and move on obviously to the next deal. But it's been a whole bunch of fun really enjoyed it. Flipping property is a great way to make massive profits in any market. So regardless of interest rates rising, cost of living high, etc., and some fear in the market, you can flip successfully. You can make massive profits in any market if you understand what you're doing. You can secure properties at genuinely discounted prices. So I'm not talking about discount off an asking price. I'm talking about discount off the value of the property. So you understand what the value of the property is before you buy it. You ensure you get that big discount. You add as much value as possible while keeping your cost down to a minimum. And you're buying in areas where people really want to live. So you will have ideally a lineup of buyers waiting for you. So you're not struggling to sell that property once it's all beautifully refurbished. And you've put all that time and energy and effort in doing the refurbishment. What you want is a quick sale. So you can speed this up and make as much profit as possible. So hopefully you've enjoyed this video. If this content's useful for you, if you enjoy these kind of videos, you want to see more projects, and let me know in the comments below. I want you to go ahead, as always, and smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel, and you will see me again soon.